So today we're talking about the Oceanside Benchmark Project, which is a, a multi-generational community project designed to um, display art in the community, to bring people together, to provide people an opportunity to tour the Oceanside community and really see uh, all of the intricacies of, of Oceanside, as well as appreciate the incredible artwork that has turned a simple cedar garden bench into something absolutely spectacular. So Mike, what was the inspiration for the gray whale? Something that was in the news quite a bit there last year and, and that was the appearance of, of the, the gray whale that kind of was just working up and down the shores between on Oceanside. So uh, all the way from Nanaimo kind of up to, up to here in Qualicum. And, uh, Usually they're kind of in and out and they're gone and, and we don't see them regularly here. But that, that one last year, it hung in here for a couple of weeks. And, and so I think a lot of the locals, a lot of the, the people who don't get a chance to get out on the boat and do these, those tours are able to see a gray whale. But it, I mean, it just sat in there for a couple of weeks and gave everyone a really good show and, and drew attention to it. And, it's obviously positive to see more numbers come so, back. So you're a, a multi-faceted artist, you paint, you carve, um, what's your, tell me a little bit about how long you've been doing this. Mostly I work with red and yellow cedar and, and do the carving, uh, the painting, designing, and working with other mediums is, is I'm kind of in the middle of that and then it's starting to work with a little bit of jewelry, starting to work with uh, the Haida Argelite and stuff like that. So um, I've been at it for, at it really aggressively for three years yeah, now. I'm, I'm just a sponge for learning now and learning from, from elders in not only the Haida community and all First Nations communities. First of all, why did you decide that you wanted to be part of this project? In this recent times of the 18 months of the pandemic, I think we've all had to lean on each other a little bit, you know, and for me to be able to give back to not only the community, but to, to other artists, to people that have chipped in and, and helped me along the way to give back a little bit is just, it's, it just feel, felt like the right thing.